In today's video, I'm trying something a little bit different that I tried in a previous video. I am going to be mixing a couple of techniques and I really wanted to try and make a bouquet of flowers. A lot of the techniques I do end up looking like different types of flowers and I really wanted to see if I could kind of put them together and what it would create as a whole. So I'm going to be doing some string pulls, um, some of the paisley flowers and some dipped flowers in this. And then if I have room on my canvas, I'm planning on trying to just paint a small vase or a pot. So we'll see how that turns out. But I have each of my colors mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. And I have um, white for my background. And then I just have some greens for the string poles so that they hopefully look like leaves. And then different shades for my um, flowers that I'll be. To start out, I have two chains that I'm going to be using for my chain poles. And I have a variety of greens. I ended up not using one of them because I think it just would have clashed a little bit. Um, but I have some darker shades and some lighter shades. And I'm just going to layer them a little bit to create a really nice background of chain poles before I start with my dips and my other flowers. For my chain pulls, I'm just dipping them right into the paint and then putting them on the canvas in a somewhat S shape and then just pulling directly down to create a pattern of the leaves. Once I had enough of my chain pulls down, I um, started using some different shades of pink and peach for my dips. And I kind of marked off on my canvas where I planned on trying to put a uh, vase so I wouldn't put dips below that. So I'm just creating my puddles and then I'm blowing up my um, glove to just dip my nitrile glove into my colors and just create some flowers all throughout this. I also had some purples mixed up, so I used those to also create some more dips. And it was really nice to do a few different um, colors or shades of flowers throughout this so that they all didn't look exactly the same. And as I just started dipping, I was really liking how this one turned out.
And then as one final touch, I also decided to do some um, paisley looking flowers. I had some from a previous pour where I used some really beautiful shades of blue. So I'm just putting those down in a few different areas, creating my puddles and then running a stick right through them to create the flower shape. And I really liked how I kept areas of the string poles um, up at the top that you could still see. So those still had some really nice definition. Um, while the blue was drying, they moved a little bit and so they didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. But overall, this bouquet of flowers just dried beautifully and it was so much fun to do a different um, style by incorporating so many different techniques into one painting. And I think that moving forward I could come up with some really awesome ideas for um, different styles like this. So I let the painting dry for a couple of days and then I just grabbed some sienna and some white and I'm just going to paint a small vase at the bottom. With the colors, it's more of a terracotta pot. I blended some of the raw sienna and some white so it was a little bit lighter and then I had some darker sienna to do some shading. Uh, my shading isn't the greatest, but it's fun to do. And I think with practice, I could come up with um, some really nice designs for some different vases or pots when I do more of these um, bouquet of flowers. like this video let me know what you think down in the comments below this was really fun to try something different I haven't really mixed techniques like this before and I'm definitely going to try out some more um, overall I'm really happy with the way that this one turned out so I'm hoping that with some different ideas um, I could come up with some other really fun designs but I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you in the next one.